Uh, like try recording now. I have given you permission to record. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Right. So here's the screen. So like the link to the Depsoc group, uh, like to the uh, the link to this Mixedia is directly put in our Depsoc group. Like there is no different link. Just click on that link. Uh, it'll just open you directly to the main page. This is one of the demo links that I'll be using to explain. This is RML Depsoc that we use. It hasn't started recording. I think it has. Uh, cool. okay. So here's the front of it. You don't need to do anything, even if you are show, if, even if you are like being shown that you're not invited to this, like to this event or like join this event. This isn't something that you need to be like. Uh, like concerned about just directly come to join debate check your microphone speak into the microphone it will directly put you off in the pre audio room if you call it so there are two options of joining in first is directly listening debate second is joining as a debater or a judge which is the blue button in the first one if you are usually entering on the day of gi probably you will be called up to like enter with listen debate button because it's preferred if you guys like don't like enter as a debater or a judge otherwise a lot of people open up their mics and speak start speaking randomly so this is something that will happen when there are a lot of people in for a tournament in a specific place secondly we enter rooms uh, it will take a moment yep here we are cool. so here's the main room a lot of rooms have their numbers allotted on top of them it's not something like uh, like it is something that you, that will be allotted to you when the draws will be out next to your draws your rooms will be pretty clear so it's not much of an hassle. Then we enter into the rooms. Assume we enter room one zero three. Right. So here's the room. You have an Asian debate set in the uh, set in the format section. You have proposition opposition, whichever side that you've been allotted to, you just join those sides. If I'm proposition, I'll end up joining proposition. If I'm opposition, I'll end up joining opposition. When the debate starts, this is the tricky part. Where, like it's not really tricky. I'm like really sorry for the wording, but like this is the part where you need to pay like, uh, like just be a bit more conscious about how it's functioning out. On the like whenever the debate starts, there are two options. Firstly, is usually when you do not join in as a speaker role. Like I cannot show you within and throughs and outs of system unless and until I have somebody who also is there to join the opposition side. So it's a bit of problem right now. But this is something that will get clear as soon as you join the session today at any point for a debate. I like it's highly recommended if everyone who's there who's here right now ends up joining, ends up uh, like debating today at 5:15. So at this point. You join your proposition and opposition. If you are an adjudicator, you will be briefed how to start with the motion. Motion will be put in the top box up here. It will like you save the motion and the debate is get to go. As soon as you get here, like there are two chat options on, on the right. One is your prop team chat, which is which will remain between the three people within the team, and it's an all chat which will directly put up message for everyone who is in this room. And remember, all chat does not go to the main auditorium chat. So like remember, it's pretty different. Then on the top right corner, if you see next to right side of the chat, there are three buttons that you can see, right? First is this like button, which is basically saying, okay, like you're audible or anything on the same lines. Second is the hear hear button. And third is the can't, uh, can't hear button. The utility of these are like they like as, as they sound, like it's basically just like applauding or like pointing it out to the adjudication hear hear hear, uh, hear, hear and can't hear button. What's suggested during your debate is to prevent these buttons merely because it's an online debate. People get startled if you like consistently press them. So it's preferred not to do not go into that. And secondly, then there's a refresh button. This refresh button is something which will usually get, um, how do I say, usually get oh, like yellow when like even if your signal falters even a bit. The problem here remains that Mixedia is a software which is very early into its stages of development. So remember Mixedia at times might show that it's not like your internet is not connected, but your internet might be connected. So just ask people if you're audible or not. Don't just consist every time press a refresh button. Otherwise, what it usually does is that there is a note section. As soon as you go into prep, that note section will have your notes, uh, your notes on that note section will get, how do I say, 
uh, vanished or if that's the correct word. So it's preferred that you do not press refresh, but a refresh button every other moment, uh, abstain from it. One last thing before we're done with this, as I said, it's pretty easy, uh, is that you do not open this uh, Mixedia on Mozilla, uh, like you do not open it up on Mozilla or I think like, or any other browser, probably just Mozilla for now. Because the developer, I had a talk with developer, he has blocked it because a lot of data, like a lot of traffic from Mozilla used to crash the site. So this uh, Mixedia is preferably only going to work on Chrome. So it's preferred that every individual who is now going to use Mixedia or uses only Chrome in the first place. I'm not really sure about Mac, but I think like Safari will work. Safari will suffice. So that's that. And there is no so specific like specific knowledge that you need to know when the debate starts. You'll just get to know like it's it's on the screen. You have a button to like press like around this place. In the middle of it, you'll have a button. Which will which will like indicate start speech. You press it, your speech starts. You stop it, your speech stops. That's it. There is no there is no such complexity that involves in it. Um, is there anything that anybody did not understand? So I could like explain before we shut off the session. It's clear, sir. No issues. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, wait, Tejas, dude. Yeah. Uh, this is Edwin here. So, uh, if yeah, yeah. Uh, there are a couple of people who, you know, actually used this platform before, why don't you ask them to join as well, right? So that we can see what it's like, you know, further up. Like, if you, if say, for instance, uh, Gibran joins his opposition, then you know we'll be able to see what prep is like, what what you know the uh, what the mm -hmm. next couple of steps are like, right? Can sure, you guys sure. do I that? Just... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Zed, if you're listening to me, can you open up uh, this link? This link is in the older group or the different Mixedia group that is there. Uh, send me like, like in the older like the older group that we had made special. I'll just awesome. put it. Just give me one second. Yeah. There are too many spam messages in this group. Just send me the link. Dude, it's in the description, so you don't need to worry about it. Like, it's not in, in this depths or group. Like, it's in the different it, group right. that we added you earlier. Got yeah. it. Like one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it says participant type, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Where do I go? Join debate. Yeah, join debate. Okay. Just directly look for join debate. Like you don't need to worry about that. There is no such mechanism yeah, yeah, as yeah. inviting me. Okay. So I enter the opposition? Yes. Just give me two minutes. You know what? No. Okay. Sure, you're okay. Let's switch the mic off, otherwise it will start resonating yeah, as it has. Okay. Okay, perfect. So usually whenever the debate starts, you have an opportunity to like either be like have a smaller debate if you want, like just set your debate prep time as much as you want. You just go to prep. Okay, please set in motion. Cool. Uh, assuming this is the motion, let's run to prep. Preparation right. time has started. As you can see on my screen right here, there are several other boxes to fill. Assuming that you are an individual who feels like, look, I don't have a like notebook next to me. So my immediate need is to, so like my immediate need is to type it somewhere instead of opening word document or any other jazz like that, you can directly have your shit typed up here, right? So it makes it far more easier for you to organize your argumentations, things such as construction one, like DVC is bad and on the similar lines, yada, 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 well, it depends on you. So you can have your signposting and argumentation right here. You can add more argumentation below as many as you want. There is no limit on it. 
whenever the debates before the debate starts you have these four like roles that you can take up to firstly like it's prime minister whoever is going and on the similar line if you like later in later towards the end of the debate you feel like you want to go to dpm like just press cancel and it will get removed from those places so it's not much of a hassle next is that we run for start debate towards the end of the entire screen there is an option of start debate we yeah we rush for debate keep start wait wait tejas uh, can i just uh, like check something yeah. right so so everybody every so all the team members can edit uh, these uh, these text boxes right like yeah yeah all of them so yeah. it's something like google docs right so everybody yes. can simultaneously edit those text boxes yes, sir. right yeah all right Okay. Three people can type into three different like constructors, so it's far easier for everybody for the entire team to look at one sheet when speaking. So it's basically used to that. So like, here's the point. Why was I actually caveating every other person to like not press refresh button when in debates? Because what usually happens that whatever team stance that you've put in already, usually when you refresh, it like vanishes or gets deleted. This is com something which is completely uncertain. This is something which is completely random. you will have to crib a lot about your case getting lost if you risk on this however if it's the ultimate objective that you have like ultimate option that you have otherwise you won't be able to listen or won't be able to speak then obviously go for it like it it it's just a bad luck if it gets deleted it doesn't get deleted every time so here's the thing like this is a speed start button as soon as i click as, as soon as i click upon it oh wait as soon as i click upon it my speed starts i have my 7 minutes uh i have my 7 minutes timer that runs on my face like it just like it will give me it will give me up, like chances like it will give me how do i say ticks or clicks or small tones which will tell me like when my movements are done so it's cool for me if i don't directly look into the screen when speaking i can like have my notebook by my side whenever i'm speaking or any other thing most important part is here's your main main jazz this is your unmute unmute button remember to use it like remember to use it uh, like smartly because a lot of times people just like don't realize that they have unmuted themselves and like continue speaking just be aware of it and that's that finish your speech you have other people on it so for if example what usually happens is that my speech ended 3 minutes into the debate because because of internet connection because of internet disconnection i fell out of this mixedia thing so maybe now the pointer on my left look at the team uh, icons on the left now the pointer has shifted to op the elo so how do i get it back to my uh, back to my icon so i can speak again there are two ways firstly in my place if i just click start speech i will directly occupy my space in elo space which means i will become elo now and then i'll start speaking from here otherwise if i do not think that this is necessary what i'll do is i'll click on the back arrow if you look closely towards the side i can switch the icons back to my original place so whoever clicks start speech their speech starts so assuming I, like aisha is in the audience and aisha is not supposed to speak pm but now aisha do uh, click on start speech yeah so here's the problem uh yeah so now when aisha clicks start speech in in my position i get replaced by aisha so prevent clicking on start speech unless and until it's your turn because it usually creates creates a lot of hassle and the other idea that exists is the idea of taking a poi after one minute is there after one minute is done you can directly click on there will be an option of take poi or ask poi right in place of start speech click on it it will ask the speaker to like take or accept it will be displayed right in front of you the speaker can take or reject you will have 15 seconds the mic will automatically get switched on and automatically get switched off so you don't have to do any hassle and this is the way entire debate is done is there anything like i think this is the like this is everything oh yeah if you are a judge specifically uh so towards the end we have a start feedback op option we go to start feedback right so here's a specific like dedicated judge room this is usually used in british parliamentary debate it's not really necessary in apd but like let's be sure like whatever happens if you think that the entire team is talking too much you can directly just shift into judge room have your notes in front of you if you are a judge you'll have these notes already have your room notes in front of you and you can like directly just uh, like you know 
make your OA and all that jazz and just come back to the main room and give your OA. The feedback happens in this room. Judge as a normal person just switch, switches on their mics and just starts speaking. Usually on the top right corner, if you can see as highlighted here, is a timer that will show you uh, your time, how much you have spoken. Like this is the timer that starts as soon as you enter feedback phase. So as a judge, you can always time yourself like seven minutes, eight minutes if you want so. And other team, other people can also time you. This is it. Like there is nothing more that needs to be done. After this, like you'll go restart to meet up or like just switch off this entire system at once. It's good. Um, any questions? Wait, so my judge room will be open as soon as I enter as an adjudicator for the private notes. Uh, yes, uh, your private notes will be open if you are not in the team. If you are within the audiences, your private note will be on to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there anything else or we can show this thing? Take a time, like it's not in hurry. Cool then, uh, seems fine. Uh, let's wrap this session up. Like, it will be really good of you guys if you turn up to like uh, debate at 5 p.m. today. And see you guys there. Bye bye.